Hi everybody, and welcome to Traveling with Russell. And welcome to the very center of Moscow. I couldn't be any more central in Moscow. I'm back here in Russia. I'm here on Sverskaya Street. Right behind me is Sverskaya Square. And they've actually got a tea party going on. So I thought together, we'd go for a walk around and check it out. And just see what's going on in the center of Moscow today. Because I'm here on Saturday afternoon, the traffic on Sverskaya Street is not that bad today. You can literally get traffic jams in about two minutes. And way off in the distance would be the Kremlin and Red Square. About a seven minute walk down the street. And then right here is where the mayor of Moscow has his offices. He literally overlooks Sverskaya Square. Very lucky. And then, as they always say, all the roads lead to Rome. All the roads lead to Red Square. This will be the direction to take you away from the very center of Moscow in a northerly direction. Where we want to go is to see this tea party. Now there is lots of people out and about in Moscow today. It is Saturday evening. So lots of people, literally. The amount of people that are actually just walking by and not even stopping to the, go to the tea party. Where are they all going to, I wonder. Everybody in one direction, everybody in the other. And the tea party right here. As we see, everybody getting selfies. Very popular thing to do in Moscow. And then have a look at the greeting here. We've actually got some characters welcoming us to the tea party. Thank you so much. Wow, amazing. Let's go for a walk on through. Now, if you don't know about Sveskaya Square, it's a very well-known spot in the center of Moscow where they have lots of little festivals and little events. Everything is hosted by the local administration and mayor's office, basically. These are always free events. And just the gardens themselves are amazing. And the plants and flowers. And the very big statue right here. And you can even see all of the apartments that are around the center of this square. I would be absolutely scared to look what the price of an apartment here is in the center of Moscow. Beautiful location. Now, I'm gonna go for just a bit of a walk around and have a look and see what the vibe is like. Everybody just hanging out and relaxing. And they've got some little shops or little kiosks set up as well. And then you can actually buy yourself some tea. I was here about a year ago. I'll have to put that video link in the description of this video. And they actually had a food festival here. And they do them quite often at this place because it's perfect. They've got these little mini shops. And what they want to do, the local administration and local government, is host little businesses that are predominantly, of course, uh, Russian businesses that maybe they're selling local products or things from the nearby regions. And they're very popular because these are not things that you can buy in the shops. So these little small businesses that come along and get a chance to have a little shop in the center of Moscow. It's just amazing. And it's pretty much gonna be everybody checking out the flowers and everybody taking photos because it's just such a beautiful setting and location that everybody comes here, actually even on days when there's not festivals and events, but this is the great Moscow Tea Party. And very interestingly, they've got Stars Coffee. And I wonder if this is just a pop-up shop to match up with the tea party that they've got. But it's just so interesting 
they, that is not there normally. So I wonder if it's just for this event. And you can sit down and hang out. They do have a few little stalls or little shops where you can actually buy different drinks. Of course, teas are the flavor of the day. And lots of people want to get something unique, something different. Now there's really a lot of people here. Now they do actually have a stage off in the distance, which we'll try to have a look at what's going on. Otherwise, we'll just have a wander around like I'm doing, basically. And have a look at what's happening. It's pretty hard not to stare back at the buildings that are on Sverskaya Street, because they're pretty epic buildings. The whole way down to the Kremlin, and then as far as you want to walk away from the center of Moscow, and then all these different squares as you walk along. Just so much history. I've also been here in winter time as well and walked around when they've got events during winter time. More people taking photos. Now I should probably enjoy the flowers as much as everybody else. Maybe I just don't see as much beauty as everyone else does. Now you have to excuse the flashing, I'm going to have to show it. There is actually a merry-go-round right here. This is completely free for the kids and they can actually just basically go on it for, I don't know, is it three or four minutes? Then they change the riders. Very nice. And have a look at this gentleman. He's got an Australia bag <laughs> right there. What's the chances of that? to see an Australia bag <laughs> in the center of Moscow. I'm just casually walking around. On the opposite side, they've also got more stands and all of the signs say all about tea. And all they're doing is selling tea related items and everything for drinking tea, enjoying tea, maybe some extra desserts or ingredients that's really interesting i've also got some honeys there or maybe some jams as well very nice maybe there's some tula gingerbread here i wonder or maybe it's just moscow gingerbread so yeah it's really fascinating everything to do with tea and I was thinking that these were real, but not, unfortunately. I'm going to have a look at these different preserves. Oh, honeys. Oh, right on, honey. Nice. All these different flavors. Very interesting. Almost every corner where you walk, somebody's taking a photograph. And of course, all the beautiful flowers and trees. And no matter what time of year you come here, you can get that different mood and different effect. Of course, in summertime now, blue skies and nice warm weather. So all the flowers are blooming. When I first turned up, I spoke to the lady at the entrance and she said they've got free tea and you can get some tea for tasting. However, as is the normal thing in Moscow when you come to events. The line for free tea is a little bit too long to brave. Of course, you get free tea at the end, but do I want to line up so long? Maybe not. I think I just want to enjoy the scenery and walk around. And there's lots of different characters as well. We saw some at the entrance. And there's a few more right here. And everybody can literally just get a photo with them. And they're basically part of the whole event. That's really nice. I think it's a little bit sunny in this direction. <laughs> but everybody's super friendly, which is nice. 
Actually, the last time that I came here was when they had a food festival on. And that day, it rained the entire day. And there was about 20 people here. And it made for the video to be very easily filmed because there was nobody, any of the stands. And then today, beautiful weather. And of course, it's very busy with the people walking around like I am. So at the back of the square, they've actually got a stage and they've got this very nice water fountain, which in summertime like this, it's just beautiful. And then everybody just hanging out. Little dog, hello. And everybody just sitting on chairs, enjoying the activities going on and really taking in this Moscow afternoon. This water fountain is just so nice. Now this stage is actually always here. These buildings and structures are here permanently. And then it's uh, different events. No matter winter or summer, they've got different events here. Even when it's cold and snowing, they'll even host things as well. I think maybe they've got like a bit of a comedy kind of thing going on. They're asking questions of the audience, which is very nice. <laughs> the characters that they get for these, you know, this, uh, this are so good at their uh, jobs where they interact with everybody. And you, you just kind of think you're walking past somebody and then they're actually part of the event. If only I knew a little bit more Russian, I could probably get some questions correct. And maybe win some prizes and everybody here yelling out and trying to get some of the questions right and there's lots of people just enjoying the afternoon hello <laughs> i don't want to get in the way if he's photographed <laughs> very nice sorry <laughs> well Super nice. Kids enjoying ice cream and just enjoying Sverskaya Square. Although it's a tea party, there isn't that many people drinking tea. I think most people are just coming to enjoy the afternoon on the swing. All these flowers as well just make for such a nice setting. So nice. I hope it comes out just as good in the video as it is walking around. It's this sort of event like this. It's a matter of just coming along, figuring out the schedule of what they're going to have on stage. And that's as simple as it is. As I'm walking around, they've also got some little impromptu dance classes going on with all the different characters. And a few ladies have joined in as well. I'm not too sure what game they're playing. Maybe it's a famous Russian game of dancing or something like that. Someone let me know in the comments what it is that they're doing because these different characters are just so good at what they do and get people involved. And literally people just wandering by, jumping in and dancing. So nice. This event that they're hosting here is actually part of a bigger lot of events over the whole summer. And it's claimed to be the largest festival in the whole world. Now, I think that's based on the number of locations, the number of events and the number of scheduled things that they're doing. Because you can go to around about 50 different places around Moscow to take part in these different small mini festivals that are going on and each one's celebrating something different for summer and this one's a tea party theme so it's very nice what a day as well beautiful weather it's not too hot today either so it's easy just to relax and not be sweating like we were earlier in the week and it was just roasting here in Moscow. 
I know perhaps this won't be the longest of videos and this isn't the biggest park in Moscow and it's just a nice place to come for a walk and if you're coming to the center of Moscow you can make this a place where you stop on the way to somewhere else or maybe you're doing a walk along the main Sverskaya streets. It's so interesting to see a Star's coffee which of course would have been Starbucks at one point and now there's a Star's coffee literally across the street from the mayor of Moscow's offices right there and of course it fits well in with this tea party theme <laughs> but it's just at the same time it feels a little bit out of place but they've got such a great location you know why not so I really hope everybody's enjoyed this walk around here and seeing the square now I can come here maybe four times a year and make a video about the different e events that they've got and with the different mood that you feel when you come here as well because in winter of course it's very cold but just so beautiful with the snow and all the lights and they put decorations on the trees and then when you come here in summer with all the flowers and everybody dressed to take some photographs it's just another place altogether. let's just have a look back right here at the statue and the buildings as I come back out onto Sverskaya Street it's really interesting just how many people are out and about today now perhaps I do a lot of my filming during the week and don't come out on the weekends as much but on the streets there is literally hundreds and hundreds of people in all directions on all footpaths and of course I think the good weather is a big help for that and you know everybody wants to come just enjoy the beautiful weather and the sunshine and just so many people just wandering around just like I'm doing I thought I'd just go for a bit of a brief walk down the street from where we started the video they've actually got this live flower wall the whole way down the pathway from where Sveskaya Square is and naturally everybody wants to take a nice photo in front of the flowers this is pretty neat now they've set this up and it runs all the way down and I wonder slowly as the days go along some of the other flowers start blooming and then as we walk down now all of the cafes and we'll end the video not too far down the road from here because it's a nice walk and it's on the way to my metro station to go home so it's a bonus at the same time my plan was to walk to the end of the street and then finish up the video and they've got a cafe here and everybody's playing chess <laughs> and it's just so random to see this and so nice at the same time and they've got clocks and they're all very official looking and I think it's maybe like a small championships or something like that and you can get some food and drink and sit here and play chess this was actually the point where I wanted to end the video we might extend it a couple more minutes what they've actually done is they've closed off the whole road here and there's lots of cafes and bars that have got outside dining and what they've done is they've blocked off the road at the far end and this is part of these summer events and summer festival that they're hosting in the center of Moscow now if this area might look familiar I perhaps need to come back here and make a separate video this is what I call the golden mile of Moscow center and where all of the luxury stores were or perhaps still are Prada right here now almost all the stores are actually closed 
but they've still got the lights on and they've still got things in the window. There's a lady here getting a photograph. But so interesting that all of these luxury brands still have a presence here on this street. You can see the very big Louis Vuitton store and barring it being closed, it's all right here. And then check this out. We've got some dance classes going on and the ladies getting into it and the one guy back there how fun is this <laughs> now I was just going to come for a wander down the street to end the video here and there's all these little pop-up things going on and this street right here probably does deserve a separate video because this was one of the busiest streets in the center and then now with some of the stores that have literally just left it almost is in disrepair and someone looks like they've taken over this building and they're gonna make some shops and apartments at some point and then all of these were the very famous luxury stores you can still see the outline here of Fendi and all the shops are closed of course you can still walk through here no problems at all <laughs> there's no shops trading and it's almost sad to see this I mean it's such a, an amazingly beautiful part of Moscow what well, they've done they put all these flower walls up to mask the look of the street one of the big jewelry stores here which is no longer and then another store on this side so the signs are up the lights are on but nobody's home quite literally this was actually the Salvador Ferragamo store now there is actually a lady in there and the shop looks open but what they've done is they've removed all of the signage and looks like they're still trading but there's no signs on the wall and then you see here the Dior stores all boarded up and all the signs are still there as well and then on this side it doesn't get any better They've just got all of the green walls in front of the stores to kind of mask what this street would look like if they weren't here. And it's really just not a pretty sight to see. And the last store that I'll show you here, and this is where my ending point of the video is. So if anybody's still watching to this point, thanks for watching to the end. You are now part of the Gucci crew. If you've got to the end and you put Gucci in the comments, I know you've watched to the last part. And this four story Gucci shop, now again, the lights are still on and all of the signage is still on the building, but it's closed. Now it's been closed for about two years. So you've got to wonder what contract they signed for this building and for it to literally stay with the name brands on the wall but not actually trading so we've reached the end of the video now i feel like i've ended the video on a little bit of a downer showing some of the shops that aren't here and trading i really need to do a separate video to explain about this little district in the center of moscow i call it the golden mile Perhaps somebody else has got another name for it, but it is literally where every luxury shop had a presence and they're not here. I really hope you enjoyed the video from back on Sveskaya Square and checking out the tea party together. I thought it was really nice and it's a beautiful place to walk at the same time. As I go past the Marriott that's still here, is it still the Marriott? Have they maybe changed the spelling? 
the gentleman there was just in the background. <laughs> but it's still here. So <laughs> give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a, another video, especially walking around this central part of Moscow. I'm more than happy to come back and walk here. It's a beautiful spot to have a walk, especially on days like today with the weather the way it is. If you'd like to follow me on Telegram, there's a link right now. You can click that. I posted lots of photos today as I've been out in the center of Moscow. And if you want to see an old video on the channel, there'll be one coming up right now. And you can click that and keep traveling with Russell. Okay, everybody, I'm off on another adventure. Bye.